Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Chan and I'll let you guys choose my makeup on Instagram. And yeah, if you want to see what you guys picked or what like most of you picked, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I let you guys choose was actually the primer and I let you guys choose between the e.l.f. Uh, hydrating face primer and the angel wheel and 52% uh, of you chose the e.l.f. primer so I'm starting with that. So this is what the primer looks like. I'm just pumping a little bit of this on the back of my hand and then I'm using this like Real Techniques um, stippling brush. Moving on to foundation now, um, I let you guys choose between two MAC foundations because like the MAC foundations are my favorite, so that's it. Um, I let you choose between the Studio Sculpt foundation and the um, MAC Mineralize foundation and 74% of you chose the MAC Mineralize foundation, so let's jump into that. This is what the foundation looks like. I use this like in a lot of my videos. Um, it is the shade NC25 and I'm pumping again a little bit of this on the back of my hand using a wet beauty sponge. Uh, just put that all over my face. Now for concealer, I'll let you guys choose between uh, NYX and ELF and this was pretty close to be honest, um, I chose the NYX concealer so I'm going to use the NYX concealer of course. That's what the concealer looks like, I haven't used it in like ages. It's the Gotcha Covered one um, in the shade Porcelain and yep, I'm basically just using this underneath my eyes a little to like cover up the start shadows and like on my pimples. And again blending this in with the blood with the wet I'm sorry with the wet beauty sponge from Weird Now for the contouring, I'll let you guys choose on my contouring stick and I'll let you choose between the Manhattan one and the NYX Wonder stick, I guess. Yes, it's the Wonder stick. And 83% of you chose the NYX one, so of course I'm using that now. So this is what the stick looks like. I haven't used this one in ages as well. It actually has a concealer as well, so I could have used this one though. But yeah, I put on concealer already, so don't need that but this is like the contouring color and it's so gorgeous Now for bronzer and blush. This was hard to be honest because it is so close as well. Um, 
I'll let you guys choose between the Makeup Revolution contour and like a blush kit and the Zoeva one and 42% of you chose the Zoeva one so I'm going to use that now. So this is what the Zoeva palette looks like and it has like such gorgeous shades in it. As you can see this one is my favorite out of it so I think I'm starting with this one. I'm using the Winged Techniques uh, Contour Brush. Using this color and go over like where I have contoured already. And it's the blush and using the shade right here. Next I'm going to set the concealer and you guys chose the um, Brighten Up Banana Powder from Essence over the like matte white one mixing powder. I don't know. Yeah, so this is what the powder looks like. And to be honest, I prefer using like the end of the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and just Press that in here and then dab it underneath like my eyes and like wherever I put concealer. And I think it's an amazing powder for that price. Like I paid like two euros, something like that. And it really does the job. Now for the highlighter, my favorite part, and you know that guys, <laughs> um, I'll let you choose between the Becca Jacqueline Hill one and the uh, Fenty Beauty one that I have, and you guys chose the Fenty Beauty one, 67% uh, of you, so yeah, this is what the packaging looks like, and I think it's so fancy and so cute, and it's pretty hard to open though, well, I got this from the US, but um, Fenty Beauty is now available in Germany, so it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm using my favorite highlighting brush and it's the BH Cosmetics 140. So I'm using this shade right here because it's the most beautiful ever. Now that the um, highlighter is on, I'm going back to the Ziva palette and I'm doing a little bit of contour on my nose as well. Next, I'll let you guys choose between two eyeshadow palettes and both of them were from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Um, one is the Subculture one and one is the Modern Renaissance one and you guys picked the Modern Renaissance palette um, like 63% of you so I'm going to use that. To be honest, I was just so sure that people are going to pick um, the Subculture one but yeah, you chose the Anastasia. Modern Renaissance palette, that's what this gorgeous palette looks like. I don't know what to create with this but I'm just trying some stuff out I guess. So as the transition shade, I'm starting with burnt orange. I'm just using this color for my crease. Next 
for my actual eyelid I'm just mi mixing these two like shimmery shades together and just pop that all over my eyelid Next I go in with Real Girl and I'm just concentrating on like the outer third of my crease and like a little bit of like my eyelid. Next I'm just using a clean like blending brush and just blend that. Once that is done, I'm using burnt orange again. And what I'm doing with that is basically just put that underneath my little lash line. Next for the lipstick, I'll let you guys choose between two gorgeous MAC lipsticks. And it was like one like orangey one and one like plum berry shade. You guys chose the plum berry shade, like 73% of you, so I'm using that now. So this is the MAC lipstick in the shade Amorous. And it's super gorgeous, I think it's perfect for fall. Now for the brows, I'll let you guys choose between the um, Catrice like, brow pencil or the Manhattan brow kit and you guys chose the Catrice eyebrow pencil which I'm so happy about because it's my favorite <laughs> and yeah, sexy six person of you chose it. You guys, we are almost done. Next, I'll let you guys choose the mascara and uh, both of them were from Benefit. You guys chose the Roll Lash Mascara and it's my literal fave right now. Now, setting spray, you guys chose the MDK setting spray over the Glam Glow setting spray. 64% of you, so this is the MDK online setting spray, and I'm just using it now. I'm going to put on falsy, so I asked you guys what um, lash glue I'm going to use, so you guys chose the duo lash glue in clear instead of the black one. And for falsies, I'll let you guys choose um, between these two um, lashes I picked from Primark. And you guys picked these sultry lashes. So I'm going to put these on. So these are the lashes I picked from Primark. And I'm just going to put on a little bit of lash glue. So I just cut off a little bit of these falsies because they were actually too long for me. I put on the glue and now just trying to put this on without like a liner and it's going to be so hard I guess but we'll see
Thank you so much for watching this video with me guys. Thank you also for like voting on like my Instagram for what like makeup I'm going to put on and it was like so funny to see what some people would choose rather than like other makeup products so it was so much fun filming this and I hope you liked it. I hope you liked how it turned out. I think it's a cute autumn look, fall kind of look. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, give this video a huge thumbs up, please. That will make me so happy. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't been subscribed to it already. Click the cute little bell as well to get notifications on whenever I post a new video. And I hope to see you soon. Goodbye!